Cancer is a very lethal disease. The number of patients are estimated to die from cancer in 2016 in the USA alone is 600,000. And this number is on the right because the current treatments in the market are not that effective. Why? If you look at one here, whenever an anti-cancer drug is given to a patient, the drug gets distributed everywhere. Large amounts of the drug reach vital organs, such as the liver and the kidney, while tiny amounts reach the cancer site, which is ineffective to cure cancer. Okay? Then let's increase the dose. You can't. Because if you increase the dose, you will get the same distribution pattern. Huge amounts this time will reach vital organs. You will damage them and kill the patient. So there is a distribution issue here. Our lab is interested in solving this issue through the fabrication of a carrier system that once loaded with an anti-cancer drug and given to a patient, it will shift the drug distribution toward the cancer sites. In other words, it will target the cancer. The carriers that we fabricate in our lab are called nanoparticles, as you can see in two here. These nanoparticles are spherical particles made from safe material loaded with an anti-cancer drug. And importantly, they are at the nanometer scale. And the nanometer is 80,000 times smaller than a width of a single hair. Whenever these nanoparticles are given to a patient, as you can see in three here, these nanoparticles target only the cancer site, sparing the vital organ. That's why they look safe and happy here. The question is, how can they target cancer? If you look at four, you can see that the blood vessels that support the cancer site have gaps of a specific nanometer size. These gaps are not present elsewhere throughout the body. So once our nanometer size nanoparticles are given to a patient, they can exit only at the cancer site, so they can target the cancer. To confirm this, we did an experiment in our lab in which we had two groups. One treated with a marketed anti-cancer drug, while the other group was treated with our nanoparticles that were loaded with the same drug. And guess what? Our nanoparticles could actually target the cancer site, as they showed better efficacy and higher safety when compared to the marketed product. As a conclusion, our lab was successfully able to fabricate targeted nanoparticles that would enhance both safety and efficacy of the current anti-cancer drugs. And this would eventually increase the number of cancer survivors. So we are giving hope to cancer patients. Thank you. Could you tell us a little bit more about yourself and your background? Yep, uh, I'm Egyptian, so I'm from Egypt. I was born in a city called Minya, which is kind of south of Egypt. I had a Bachelor of Pharmaceutical Science in 2008, and then I kind of pursued my degree here to get a big PhD in, in pharma field. Yep. Um, so when you're not working with this nanoparticles. Is, this is a good question. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> so I had, I had a little baby who just kind of uh, celebrated her first birthday kind of a week or two weeks ago. So I think we spend most of our time I'm trying to kind of educate her, as you know. So I just sit down, bring a book, a baby book. She sits on my lab, and then we just keep discussing, you know, the, the social stuff and all of the related to political issues here in USA. And and usually when I'm I'm, I'm not you know, I'm kind of busy and I can just read her, so just she can pick a book and she just sit away and then she kind of keep keep changing the pages and just keep pointing and some stuff as I'm telling her and just she look at me and look at her and just say, Kate, Kate, <laughs> as, we, as, as if she's kind of, you know, speaking to herself. It's kind of fun to have a baby in home, so yeah, this is, <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is what I do. you about nanoparticles? Yep, so she hears this kind of 15 <laughs> times now <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and every time, even if she's crying, I was planning to video it, but it's difficult to show it here. So every time when I just begin, cancer, it's a very least she should look at me and just begin laughing as a kind of just <laughs> kind of talking to her. Yeah, so I think she, she enjoyed it a lot, yeah. Fantastic, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.